One is this idea of what data is itself and, you know, the idea of who owns it and all of that. And there are, I think, uh, the emergence of some significant philosophical differences across the globe about what all of this means now. So, you know, the idea that data was, you know, carefree and easy for the last 20 odd years um, also accompanied um, the emergence of a data industry um, that was actually predominantly American with a little bit of European thrown in. So whilst many people talk about these things as global things, there is also a perspective which sees them as very transatlantic things. So I think that that's a point that I wanted to make, that there are emerging philosophical differences about what we're actually dealing with. In China, for example, data is now explicitly described as a factor of production um, and is being treated very much as a question of a public good. It certainly has strong public good dimensions. The last thing is, is this language issue. And I think it is an interesting one. And my little example goes to the word trust. Right? So in normal human talk, we talk about trust as, as something that's actually desirable and good. Um, in technology land and in um, cryptography land, um, information systems land, trust is at best a five letter word. Um, but at worst, it's actually something quite undesirable because what trust points to is an information architecture where the integrity of that system is dependent on the whims of single or small numbers of actors. So the higher the trust the system depends on means the higher the concentration of authority and single points of failure. So from a technical and a security point of view, we actually want trustless systems rather than trust-based systems.